I'm Chris Berman. We've got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Dolphins barn burn their way to a 24-point win. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Broncos pick up their sixth win of the year. The Bears won this contest, but will stay at the third place in the NFC North. Billy Miller had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Jamal Lewis pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Ravens beat the Browns. In the Big Apple, New York, we had the Giants edge their way to a narrow three-point win. Redskins, Cardinals. Mark Brunel is always a threat to go out into the end zone, especially with the ball at the 20, and he does. The defense doesn't pick it up. Beautiful pass, touchdown. The Redskins go on to win this by the final score of 21 to 14. Down in the Georgia Dome, we had the Falcons win by a nine-point margin. The Lions won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Vikings. The Panthers got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at Erickson Stadium. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Chiefs win their 10th game of the season. The Patriots won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the AFC East. Colts, Titans. James Mungro is just shy of the midfield stripe and takes the quick handoff with a spin. They're fooled! Nobody was deep on the left side. 10, the five, touchdown. The Colts go on to win this by the final score of 17 to seven. Marcus Trufant stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Brian Westbrook was responsible for over 150 yards rushing and helped his Eagles beat the Vikings. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us, Trey. Eddie Freeman is on the move as he gets a contract for what can only be referred to as crazy money. Four years, $3.9 million, plus a $1.1 million signing bonus. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. This guy is probably the one that most leaps out at you. And you can tell from the expression on his face it was a bad one. A ruptured Achilles and he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Dante Stallworth sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. Tests at the stadium revealed a broken kneecap, so he'll be out for the rest of the season. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Michael Bennett is gonna find himself in street clothes for the time being, and that'll be a major blow to this club. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. And last but not least, we had the Jets come away victorious. All right, Boomer, thanks. With the playoffs a little more than a month away, things are starting to get real interesting when it comes to seeding and the races for the division crowns. Let's start things off by taking a look at the AFC. And now, checking things out over in the NFC playoff race. So that's how we stand to this point. Still lots of jockeying left to go as we get this thing sorted out for January. So that'll do it from here. Boomer, we send it back over to you. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time players. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.